is an amateur mixed martial art fight. Please welcome to the ring, fighting out of the red corner. Ayan Khan from the red corner making his way to the cage an experienced amateur competitor he'll be taking on Ethan Wright this should be a very exciting match a very high level match as well notice with these amateur fighters along with the pros they have no padding on their legs they simply have the padding on their arms so these leg kicks will be very effective if they land it is bone on on leg or bone on bone if they're checked coming down to the cage now we have Ian Wright fighting out the blue corner in this amateur MMA bounce this should be an exciting one with the lack of padding that they have, all these shots are going to mean so much more. They're going to be so much more effective. So these fighters, therefore, need to be so much more conditioned as well. Exactly, Sam. You have to be a lot more careful about how you uh, position your leg kicks. You can't swing them in with no uh, care about where they're going to land. You'll, want, you'll see a lot of the white collar bouts. They'll just swing those legs with reckless abandonment. They've got that padding to protect them. If you do that in these sort of situations, you will injure yourself. Exactly. Unless you're Tony Ferguson, you'll injure you. Shout out to Tony Ferguson kicking poles. Looking forward to this matchup, Jack. It's a higher level than what we've seen so far tonight. At least it should be. Me too, Sam. I'm very much looking forward to it. The uh, supporters are out in force, and it's, it's a delight to see. It is. And with these bouts, there's a lot more intensity behind them. These are people trying to build careers out of fighting, not people donating to charity solely. Obviously, they have done by selling tickets, but they want to become professional fighters one day. Exactly, Sam. Ethan Wright throwing a big head kick and missing. Yeah, adopting a long karate stance and blitzing in. Almost Wonderboy-esque. And he tries shooting for a takedown, but Ayan Khan braced and gets the half guard. Yeah, he's got that half guard headquarters position on the right-hand side, looking to pass guard with a tripod pass. Very powerful guard pass. Similar to what you'll see from Damian Meyer and GSP in this prime. You're absolutely right. You will see a lot of MMA competitors, unlike Jiu-Jitsu, they're comfortable in half guard. They like to secure down the opponent's leg on bottom and land shots. At the moment, Ethan Wright is landing cuffing shots to the side of Ayan Khan's head. And Ayan does want to pass, but there is a knee in the way, a knee shield. Yeah, he's, he's doing a good job. He's unlocked Ethan's legs as he's going for that guard pass. And Ethan, Ethan gets full guard now. Yeah, Good guard retention there from Ethan to retain full guard. Uh, he needs to ensure he keeps the posture of Ayan down so that Ayan and can't attempt. strike him. Nice up kick attempt there from Ethan, but he does need to get back to his feet. Ayan lads a big right hand. Oh, he turtles and Ethan up. Ayan, Ayan moves towards the back. Now, Jack, with your experience in grappling, what would you be doing here from this turtle position? So Ion's looking to get these hooks in, whereas Ethan needs to implement some sort of Granby roll to free him from Ion's grip around his waist. Ion looking to take mount there as Ethan was turning into him. Yeah, Ion's got a fantastic platform striking here. Beautiful shot. Yeah, Ethan and surrendered his back. Out. 
He's flattened out. Flattened him out. It's a strong finishing position. Ayan's got the Ayan. hooks in. Yeah, he's got the hooks in. Looking to transition to a rear naked choke position. This is a very strong position in mixed martial arts. If you can get the back of your opponent. He's tapped. Big he's tapped. submission for Ayan Khan. Fantastic performance. Very quick submission. As soon as Ayan Khan got the neck, he sunk in the choke. And Ethan tapped straight away. He must have a hell of a squeeze on him. That was fantastic. He was just he just knew what he wanted to do on the ground and he gave Ethan nothing. Smooth guard pass, struck strongly from the top position, which is nice to see as well. He made sure that he was only moving forwards and not backwards, and it was fantastic. Brilliant performance by both fighters. Ayan Khan had the dominant position on the ground and he didn't let up. Ayan Khan with a dominant performance there, winning by first round, rear naked choke. One thing we will mention as well, going forward into these pro rounds, they will be five minute rounds.